We're here to discuss the six cybersecurity tools you need today for an adequate security posture. A quick disclaimer, I'm not suggesting that there are only six tools for your cybersecurity strategy or plan. However, if we had to start somewhere, I would say that these are the six tools I would start with. The first tool we're gonna to talk about is SIM, Security Information Event Management. Today, more than ever before, a SIM tool is required for any size company. The reason that this is so important is network monitoring, log analyzation, and user behavior analytics is required to perform correlation on data events and ultimately threat detection today. These critical components are necessary features to help you guard against activity trying to stay undetected within your complex IT infrastructure. SIM can help you address many aspects of your IT landscape and provide evidence-based reasons for making those security changes you've been discussing amongst your team. With a properly implemented SIM, you can accurately lock down the environment and spend those budget dollars wisely on your next security tools with knowledge in hand. Endpoint EDR. An EDR solution with today's malware and zero-day threats coming out more often, picking the right EDR solution is an important choice. You do not want to make this choice quickly. When evaluating and selecting a mature EDR solution, some of the features and functions you want to ensure are included with your shortlisted choices are the ability to output syslog to a SIM or log to a SIM completely. The ability to integrate with an EDR via API to and from a SIM and a SOAR platform. The ability to whitelist and blacklist applications within your environment. The EDR solution should also have algorithms that can help you quickly identify malware before it executes. The EDR solution should also have the ability to quarantine an endpoint if malware is detected. All in all, you want to make sure the EDR you select has modern abilities to address the modern threats. Do not select an EDR engine that has a legacy approach written all over it. You might be thinking, this is a trivial thing. However, it is part of your core security stack. You and your users within the company need to take passwords seriously and providing everyone within the organization a password manager is critical. Now, I prefer to utilize a mature product that has a lot of feature functionality built in, like 2FA codes, cloud-based access on multiple devices, and built into the browser for quick access. Enforcing password management across your company is imperative. One reused password to the wrong system could mean a really bad day for everyone. Single sign-on, or also known as SSO. Single sign-on should be implemented company-wide within all applications to the best of your ability. This way you can ensure the right credentials are being monitored, logged, and if any suspicious activity does occur, you have one place to kill that authentication and that is the point where SSO is happening. Anti-phishing. This is probably the most complex because this isn't only one tool. This is a mix of tools and human training, but it needs to be addressed. It is the number one threat vector for criminal activity to begin and gain a foothold into your environment. Anti-phishing needs to be addressed at the email filtering service provider level, DNS level, and properly training employees to look out for those phishing emails that would ultimately get them to do something like giving up their credentials or putting banking information into a website. I couldn't stress enough to you, take anti-phishing strategy and planning seriously and implement multiple layers of security here. MFA, or also known as 2FA. This will play a major role in reducing account compromise across the organization. Multi-factor authentication is considered the best practice today and a standard across all size companies. I would highly recommend multi-factor authentication to be enabled everywhere possible. 
the one account that you don't have multi-factor enabled is the weakest link to your whole organization. These six cybersecurity tools aren't the only ones you should be using within your environment, but they are the most important ones. If you are looking to start somewhere, these tools will get you started.